Number three, if the corporation desires to earn profit of 20,000 before tax, it must generate sales of, okay, so may this, kung may desired profit, meron din desired sales para ma-hit yung profit or yung desired profit na 20,000 pesos. So, sa problem number 3 or sa question number 3, we have to determine the sales in terms of quantity and in terms of amount para ma-hit or para makuha yung desired profit na 20,000 before tax. So, for number 3, so, uulitin lang naman natin yung uh, yung contribution margin income statement. We have sales, variable cost, contribution margin, fixed cost, profit. Okay. Then, the sales is 25 pesos times. So, yung quantity is unknown. Kasi nga, yun ang kailangan nating malaman. Yung sales in terms of amount and in terms of quantity. Variable cost, 15 times. So, yung quantity is unknown. Contribution margin is 10 times. The number of units para ma-hit yung 20,000. Then, yung fixed cost is 100,000. The corporation is aiming for a profit of 20,000 pesos. So, nalagay natin dito yung 20,000 pesos, yung desired profit. So, gagawin ulit natin, parang katulad ng number 2, work back. Okay. Kung may profit na 20,000 dito, at may fixed cost na 100,000, therefore, the contribution margin is 120,000 pesos. Okay. 120,000 minus 100 equals 20,000 pesos which is yung desired profit since my contribution margin na, na 120 and we have the contribution margin of 10 pesos per unit therefore the total uh, sales is 120 divided by 10 equals 12 1,000 units. Okay. I-express natin siya in terms of formula. So, desired sales in units is equal to anong kinonsider natin na una? Yung desired profit. 20. Then, nag-work back tayo in natin yung fixed cost. So, plus fixed cost. Pag pinag natin yan, dalawang yan, makukuha natin yung contribution margin, which is 120. Then, after natin makuha yung 120, dinivide natin siya sa contribution margin per unit. Desired profit is 20,000. Fixed cost is 100,000 divided by 10 pesos per unit. 120 divided by 10 equals 12,000 units. Okay, ibig sabihin lang nun, to generate a profit of 20,000 before taxes, the corporation must generate sales of 12,000 units. So, na-determine na natin yung desired sales in units. Ang kailangan naman natin gawin is yung desired sales in terms of amount. Okay, kung may contribution margin dito na 120,000 pesos at yan ay 40% ng sales. So, dahil nung nag-compute tayo ng CM ratio, 40% yung lumabas na CM ratio. And, 120,000 
na CM at CM ratio na 40%. Therefore, kapag pinag-divide natin yung dalawang yan, madetermine natin yung desired sales in pesos, which is 300,000 pesos. Which is, equal din kapag pinag-multiply natin yung selling price na 25 times the desired sales of 12,000 units. 25 times 12,000 equals um, 300. 15 times 12,000 equals 180. Okay, therefore, kapag in-express natin siya sa formula, desired sales in pesos is equal to desired Profit plus fixed cost divided by CM ratio. Desired profit is 20,000 plus 100 divided by 40%. 120 divided by 40%. The answer is 300,000 pesos. So, sa number 3, the answer is the desired sales in units ay 12,000 units. And, ang desired sales in pesos is 300,000 pesos. Yung question number 3 um, deals with the desired sales in units and sales in pesos. Ang given ay desired profit and Pansin natin, wala pang tax na kinoconsider sa problem number 3. Therefore, itong mga formula na ginawa natin is desired profit. Dagdagan natin siya. Desired profit before tax. And eto din, desired profit before tax. Desired profit plus before a uh, desired profit before tax plus fixed cost makukuha natin yung contribution margin and kapag dinivide natin siya ng CM ratio makukuha natin yung desired sales in pesos number 4 if the corporation pays corporate income tax at a rate of 30% and it desires to earn after tax profit of 20, 21,000 pesos, it must generate sales of. So, yung sa number 4, is same lang din siya ng number 3. But, ang pagkakaiba lang nila, sa number 4, merong given na income tax. And, ang income tax rate is 30%. So, sa number 4, Nagawin lang natin yung um, sales, variable cost, contribution margin, fixed cost, profit. But since na may income tax na given sa so problem, may expand itong ginagawa natin contribution margin income statement. So profit before tax. Next is income tax. Then, ito na yung profit after tax. So, na-expand yung ating uh, contribution margin income statement. Sales is 25 pesos times, malalaman pa natin kung ilang units. Variable cost is 15 times quantity. Contribution margin is 10 times number of quantity fixed cost is 100,000 profit before tax so unknown income tax is 30% profit after tax i given 21,000 peso so paano to kapag ganito may income tax okay so, 
Kagaya ng mga plus past questions, work back ulit. 21,000. So, kung ito ay after tax, therefore, the after tax percentage is 70%. And kapag dinivide natin yung 21,000 divided by 70% after tax rate, madedetermine natin yung profit before tax dahil ito yung 100%. 100 minus 30 equals 70%. 21,000 divided by 70% is 30,000 pesos. Then, the income tax is 30,000 times 30% equals 9,000. Okay, may profit before tax na tayo. Then, fix cost 100. Therefore, the contribution margin is 130,000 pesos. We have the CM unit of 10. Therefore, the desired sales in quantity is 13,000. Okay, gamitan natin ng formula. Desired sales in units is equal to desired profit before tax. Yung kanina. Plus fixed cost divided by CN per unit. The desired profit before tax is ito. Ang determine natin, 30,000. Plus 100,000 fixed cost divided by 10. 130,000 divided by 10 equals 13,000 units. Okay. <clears throat> Kung may desired sales in units, meron tayong desired sales in pesos. Which is Desired profit before tax, 30,000 plus the fixed cost of um, 100,000 divided by the contribution margin per unit na 40%, 130 divided by 40% is equal to 325,000. Pesos. Okay, tuloy na natin tong ating uh, contribution margin income statement. So, kung ang sales ay 13,000 in units, 25 times 13 is equal to 325,000 pesos, which is yung nakuha natin kaninang desired sales in pesos. 15,000 times 13, ah, 15 pesos times 13,000 units equals 195,000 pesos. Then, yun na. Kompleto na ang ating contribution margin income statement. So, sa number 4, desired sales in units is 13,000. Desired sales in pesos is 325,000 pesos.